So in this presentation, I will take you across the next week's trend analysis. So next week, how the Nifty and Bank Nifty will behave as per the real-time volatility estimate and one standard deviation principle. Those are the things we are going to, I am going to describe in this. So every week we are releasing this particular report. If you are a regular visitor of our website, Smart Finance, then you can just go to the download link. Here you will get the market report. So this market report section you can download. And if you are registered in our website already, then these reports will be sent to your email box. To register, you can click here and register yourself. And if you are following us on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, then you will be getting those informations here also. So YouTube channel also will be releasing the video most of the weeks. And also we will be putting in our Facebook and Twitter. If you are following us in this Facebook and Twitter also, you will be getting the info. So multiple channels are there to follow us and get this information. So every week, post market hour, we used to release this particular report. So last week also we have released. And last week how it performed, I will just quickly take you across there. So this is the level we have given for last week. And let me look into the values what we, it has given. First I am going to Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty, these are the values we have recommended. So we have recommended these are the values for the last week. So 24,467 above the uptrend, 24,193 below, it was the downtrend. And if I look into this historic data for 28th to 31st August. So opening was 24,381. You didn't get a chance to buy on Monday. Tuesday you got a chance to sell it. And that selling price as per this was 24,193. First target was 24,108. And you have achieved on the same day 24,083 closed at 24,100. Last trader price was 24,100. So this suggests that you sold and 93 points you gain in this. If you have hedged it with specific options as recommended 24,200, then some amount of losses would have come in the options. So this is what happened for the bank nifty. Bank nifty. And same way if I go for the nifty, so nifty last week on the monday it has given an uptrend breakout but it didn't sustain so this was the uptrend breakout being given 9906 above however it has a reversal so 9906 it has opened and high it has gone to 9939 so 9939 level it has gone so the first target also it has not achieved from 0.5 level it has reversed that so if I can just to take the stop loss as 9853 level, so this stop loss has hit in the 9853 level if I can take. So Monday we have not got it, but Tuesday it has hit the stop loss. And Tuesday once it hits the stop loss, we need to reverse the trade. So reverse the trade with the appropriate call option. And this is the weekly low of 9783 it is suggesting. So weekly low was 9783. Nine, so if I just compare with that level 9783. So you have just come to the third target. So it was 80 level was there. So couple of points you just missed the third target. So considering the trailing has triggered here. So you can say 53 to 91. So you can you can 60 points you gain from this selling trade and if you have hedged it with the 9850 fall option then you could have lost couple of points and the net will be the balance will be your profit and one stop loss also has a trigger here 9906 to 9853 so whatever the losses would have come from this stop loss action if you have hedged it with the 9900 put option then part of that stop loss amount also you could have recovered out of that so this is what it has waved last week. For coming week, what we are expecting. So for coming week, which will be valid from the 4th to 8th September. So 10,004 
was the last traded price and the and the volatility is 7.74 percent in that ratio we are getting that 10029 above uptrend 9979 below downtrend and once it is crossing this 10029 it has the first target as 10070 second as 10088 so these are the things it has given and if it is oscillating between 10058 to 9950 you can expect that it is a range bound action and if it is crossing 10029 you must buy the future with the 10000 put option as i have mentioned here first target 10070 second target 10045 third is 10088 go on trailing the stop loss till the till you are not satisfied with the targets or the profit or till the stop loss is not triggered so if you are satisfied with the profit then better to quit the trade and come out also so this is for the uptrend downtrend 9979 below if it is monday it is slipping below 9979 then you must sell the nifty with the 10000 call option buy and once the first target you are getting revise your stop loss second target you are getting revise your stop loss so hold the trade till the stop loss is not triggered trailing stop loss is not triggered or the optimum profit is not achieved so this is the two things you can trade based on the uptrend and downtrend so one simple option strategy i am adding from this week from this week onwards i am adding a new section called option strategy here one one strategy we will test it for one one month one particular strategy will take because many strategies are there which is practically impossible for any trader to remember all strategy and implement so i am just going to concentrate only one strategy and we will follow it for entire month and we will see what is the result these strategies are giving so this strategy is a net credit option strategy and you have to go with the contra trend whenever the trend is moving opposite direction of the trend you need to initiate so how the strategy should be formed suppose monday you have given a nifty future has given an uptrend 10029 above it has gone then you need to sell the october 10000 october not september 10000 put option and buy 9950 september put option each one part. and book the profit once the uptrend achieved the first target book the loss if the downtrend started preferably i am just telling that you hold till 9963 level downtrend started don't quit here 9979 level wait for 9963 level so this is if the uptrend is giving you the breakout if the downtrend is giving you breakout on the monday downtrend is giving you the breakout or downtrend breakout you are getting at 9979 level then sell october month 10000 call buy 10050 september call each one lot profit you should book at 9937 level book loss at 10045 level so this particular strategy try to implement the small amount of profit will come but you will experience the art of doing the option trade so this option strategy trade if you initiate you will find out a great risk reward in your portfolio though the rewards will be smaller but if it maintains then you will be getting a, over a period of time you can get a good profit out of that once the second target goes profit will little increase i am telling you to quit at first target if you just wait for 786 or point triple eight level then profit will be little more so so let us concentrate for a couple of weeks in the first target and see what outcome it is giving then you can just hold on to second or third target so this is a new section i am adding this week onwards option strategy and the real time estimation of this profit you can get in our option strategy software those who are using our option strategy software use the calendar spread strategy section you can get the real time estimation of this particular so Bank Nifty, what we are expecting for the next week, 24,483, today it has closed and the real time volatility 9.41%. So this is the Bank Nifty volatility and we are expecting 24,605 above uptrend and 24,361 below downtrend. If it gives a 24,605 breakout, 
Then your first target will be 24,680. Second will be 734. And third will be 24,766. Follow the same way, the way the Nifty targets, based on targets, you are trailing the stop loss. Same process you can follow here. And try to hedge it with the weekly options or monthly options. You can think of writing some option also. If it is giving you an uptrend here, sell a 25,000 call option also. That can also that also you can do. Your optimum target is 25,000. So buy a future sell a call option also. That is also a good idea. So trade based on based upon this particular concept and see what success you are getting. If you are facing any doubts in following up these particular levels, then please feel free to email us in this particular ID. So I will be glad to answer your queries if you can post your queries here. One particular strategy, contract trend, net credit option strategy in the Nifty. This we are going to follow for this entire month to see how option strategy can be implemented in the simplest way to benefit us in a trading portfolio. So this is how, so many of you will be new to the option strategy, just following this particular option strategy so that we can able to know that. And if you are using this particular software, one standard deviation software of ours, you'll be getting the three cycles entry. So the difference is the first cycle entry, what you are getting in my report. So that and software will be having the same entry. However, the second cycle, third cycle doesn't present here. So here also some new features we have added like option scanner and stock scanner. So I'll be just taking you to the option scanner section wherein We'll just see some weekly options how we can trade in the coming week. It will be better that if you just do weekly options, you can analyze in the Friday and follow that same things on the Monday. So for the Nifty, I am just taking it. I'll be loading the data here. And once the data is got loaded, once the data is got loaded, I'll just hit in this analyze button to get all options. Whatever the tradable call options and put options are there, everything I got it. Everything I got it, all put options and call options, everything I got it. Now I need to filter it out. I am going to filter the call options between, this is greater than, less than and between options are there. Between the weekly, weekly targets, means between the weekly targets. So for that, I have four choices here. Best weekly call option to buy in the uptrend. Best weekly call option to sell in the downtrend. I have selected a call option. I'm selecting here. Best weekly call option to buy in the uptrend. Only two strikes it is coming here. 10,050 call option. Currently it has closed at 85 rupees. It, Monday if uptrend breakout gives, then it will be available at 98 rupees. I can purchase it with a stop loss of 74 and this particular week if all my targets are expected targets are meeting then i can get this options at 186 same way 10100 call option which is at 64 now monday if uptrend breakout given then 74 it will be available i can keep a stop loss of 55 and these are my uptrend targets if I wish to sell some options, best weekly call options to sell in the downtrend, that also I can filter it out. Only 9950 strike it is coming. Currently it is at 142 level. Currently it is at 142 level. If Monday it is giving you a downtrend breakout at 125 level. Currently it has closed at 142 level. Monday if it is coming down to 125 level, sell it. Keep a stop loss of 159 and downtrend workout once it has started, you can get it in the 48 rupees maximum by the weekly weekend. So this is what we are getting for the call option. Same way you can think of the put options between and best weekly put options to buy in the downtrend. You are getting five strikes, five different strikes you are getting. So out of these five different strikes, any one you can choose. So current premiums at which it has been closed. So Monday, if it is giving you a 
downtrend breakout if you look into the weekly report also you will get 9963 level we are getting the 0.382 up level so here i am just recommending you to buy currently it has closed at 41 if monday downtrend breakout comes you can buy at 50 level keep a stop loss of 30 34 rupees and if the downtrend targets you are achieving one by one then this will be your maximum target you can get right away. Same time, you can just also sell for weekly put options in the uptrend. So, which are the strikes you can sell in the uptrend? If the uptrend becomes, so these are the four different strike put options you can sell. Once you are selling it, so currently it has closed at 129 today. So, so Monday, if it is the uptrend is giving, it is recommending you to sell once the Nifty crosses above 10,046. So, so once the Nifty crosses above 10,046, it is recommending you to sell. So these are the, if you can just go to different, different options here, you will be getting a different, different values for buy entry and targets, sell entry and targets. So these values are being estimated so that in dynamic manner, so that you should not, you should not land in loss a land in loss in the after entering the trade so for that we have just made some good analysis here so best weekly put option to sell in the uptrend so it is at 129 so these are the strikes so once it is going for 10046 level you can sell it at 111 keep a stop loss of 150 so these are the targets in the uptrend you can get out of these four any one strike you can choose so these are the things you can best weekly call option to buy in uptrend, sell in the up and down trend, put options to buy, put options to sell. Similar things also you can do for the bank nifty. Bank nifty, monthly options we give, we never give the weekly options. Weekly options is quite volatile and it has great demerits currently. So we never give that one. So if you are going for the best weekly call options to sell in the downtrend. So these are the strikes it filters. Or best put options to sell in the sell in the uptrend. That also you can filter it out. So try to trade based on this option scanner. So it simplifies your job. You need not have to hunt for a best strike. It filters the strikes which is going to give you maximum reward. And out of these strikes, you can choose any one strike. And you can utilize this tool for the intraday trade also. So, so strikes between the buy entry and the target, strikes between sell entry and targets. For intraday buy entry and targets, and the intraday sell entry and targets. And strikes in the money options, out of money options, that also you can filter it out. Lot many features are there. Since weekly trend analysis we are doing, so I have just told you how you can utilize this tool for doing the weekly trend analysis and how you can choose the strikes which will be suitable for you for the weekly trade. Once you've done, if, if you want this software, just take the analysis, take a screenshot, save it and Monday based on its breakout, take the actions on that. So this is how you can use that option scanner and I have given you one particular strategy this month. This entire month, we are going to follow only one strategy, net credit option strategy, based on the contra trend nature. Wherever this trend is giving you breakout, based on that, we'll take a call. So we'll test this particular strategy for this month to understand that how the strategy, option strategy trade, give you a safe earning without exposing more into the risk side. So that will be our objective for this month to filter out and learn at least one strategy which will be safe to implement and which can give you profit without exposing much into the risk side. So keep following this and share your opinion by email. And if you are a follower of our website and if you are visiting, getting this particular video if you are seeing in the YouTube. Try to subscribe our channel. Once you subscribe this particular channel here, 
whenever we release any video you will be informed by email it will come to you by email and you can right away see those things so multiple channels we have kept so that you can follow us in facebook in twitter in youtube so any one channel the same same informations will be circulated in different channels so you can get the information in proper time that is the only one objective so keep following keep writing your queries if you have any query associated with our analysis we'll be glad to help you and any product related queries call to this particular numbers or sales numbers are given here so we'll answer your queries so in software section we describe all our softwares in course section we have all our courses anything which is your point of interest you can choose and be a successful trader what sucks to be a successful trader it is not important that you should get premium tips advice from some advisor no one is a premium advisor no one can able to give you a premium tips or premium advice there is no such method available only you can able to be a premium trader by the way of educating yourself once you educate yourself learn some valid concepts proven concept concept which you can learn and understand and implement and in concept which work in the market so if you learn those techniques then you yourself can become your advisor and you yourself can able to form your own trading portfolio so with that particular objective smart finance is being formed 10 to 11 years back and we are working towards that objective so all our courses softwares are designed towards that so if you are interested in any of our courses and softwares feel free to call in our sales number we'll help you to identify the right software and right course to meet your requirement follow our this week's trend level and give your feedback